Hello everybody, Republic Jim here. I'm back out in the barn gym, but not for a workout right now. And it's been a while since I've been out here because somehow last week I managed to tweak my knee pretty good. And it's been painful to even walk and do stairs, let alone work out. So that's partly why I haven't done much uploading lately. And also I've been too busy with other projects but anyway, that's not the point of this video. I wanted to talk about uh, portable emergency backup power. And uh, as it says in the title, this is old school. Because nowadays everybody is selling these portable power stations that, like a lithium ion battery with all these different outlets and electronics and stuff. And they're really cool. You know, I won't deny that, but I just, at this point, I can't justify spending the money on it because many, many years ago, like probably over 20 years ago, I invested in a 1000 watt inverter and I have a couple of deep cycle batteries. And over the years, anytime I haven't felt like breaking out a generator, uh, that's been my go-to just drag out a battery, hook up the inverter, and I've been able to power smaller things, and just use that for short-term power source. Uh, and, you know, my old school inverter is actually a true 1000 watt inverter too. It's not like, oh, it's capable of 1000 watt surge, and you know, but it's only you know, like 600 for steady use or something. You know, this is, it was rated at 1,000 watts, and it'll consistently put that out. And I don't know what the surge capacity is on it. You know, it's probably like 1,500 watts or something. But I, with a battery in that inverter, I've been able to power refrigerators and freezers and things like that during extended power outages. Just go and run them for a while just to keep everything cold and it's worked really well for that but it's always been kind of a nuisance hauling it around and i also wanted something set up to where i didn't have to swap out batteries if i needed extended runtime so i decided to throw together a little cart for moving it around and and strap everything down on it and such and so what I have now is two deep cycle batteries and my inverter and everything hooked up with the cables and on a sort of a little dolly thing with wheels. And I will switch around my camera in just a moment and show that. But basically I, I put this together with scraps I had laying around and spare lawnmower parts and such. So other than having to buy the cables to hook up the batteries, I really have virtually nothing invested in this because it was all just odds and ends I had on hand already. So anyway, I'll switch camera around and give you a look at it. So here's the basic setup. As you can see, I have lawnmower wheels on the back and then just some two by fours to support things there and it's all fastened down on this plywood. I haven't totally completed this yet. It's pretty rough, but I, you know, I just cut this out. I will at some point get around to routering the edges there and sanding it and getting it cleaned up, but I wanted to make it big enough that even if I'm wearing bulky gloves, I could grab it easily enough and just have to pick it up on the front and wheel it around and it works fairly well you can see i've got the the two batteries hooked up in parallel there so i have a fair amount of capacity and my lovely inverter doesn't have any usb ports but it has because of course when i bought the thing usb didn't exist but it has a couple of of uh, outlets there and I can always plug in adapters to charge USB stuff if I need to. I also have 
a uh, 12 volt port where I can just clip it onto the battery terminals and have the socket like a cigarette lighter where I can plug things in there. So I have some options. I also have a, a, a portable solar panel set up that's kind of like a briefcase thing where you just open it up and fold it out, which I could use to trickle charge this. I haven't had a chance to test that yet, but this weekend looks like it's going to be sunny and hot, so I'll probably break it out and try that then. But now I'm going to switch the view again so I can plug in a couple of things and show it in operation. Okay, so first of all, plug in my battery charger for, I'll turn that on so I have some power. Uh, there we go. So I got my battery charger here. And there it goes, it's charging. Cheapo belt sander doesn't draw too much power when it kicks on, but any electric motor like that pulls more when it first fires up. So, anyway, as you can see, works pretty good for powering things out in the field or just emergency power around the house. Obviously not quite as convenient as one of those just box type all-in-one uh, power stations like what they're selling now, but as I said, it's what I had on hand. I've been using the basic stuff for years and I know it works. I just wanted to make it more portable and all self-contained. So that's what I have right now. Hope that's been interesting or informative. This has been Republic Jim. I'll talk to you later.